Here's how to shift to 5D now and why you must. Hi, I'm Saratoga Ocean, and I help people to navigate their spiritual awakening so they can stay on a conscious path of ascension. And make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos to guide you on your awakening journey. In this video, I'm going to give you a simple way to understand what 5D is and how you can shift to that level right now. Now, I think there's a lot of confusion about what 5D actually is. So what I wanna do is give you a very simple way to understand it so that you can begin to focus on shifting into that level of consciousness. Now, I actually am not a big believer in numbering dimensions. However, I can see how this could be very useful in terms of giving us a way to really orient ourselves and know where to focus. Now, here's where I see the confusion about 5D. If you're not careful, it can start to look like, um, well, okay, I have my physical body, that's in 3D, and then my consciousness is in 5D, and you can end up feeling like there's this weird kind of split. And then it can turn into another um, bit of confusion if you start to say to yourself, well, my physical body is my human self, and my 5D self is my higher self, or something like that. But the the risk you're taking if you if you create that separation is then you have to ask yourself, well, how do I bridge that gap? How do I how do I account for the fact that I have a physical body, and what does the five dimensional experience mean to my three dimensional self? And that's where you can find a real gap in your experience, and that can cause a lot of confusion. And the other thing that can cause confusion when you're numbering dimensions like three, four, five, six, seven, is how do you identify specifically what those dimensions are? How do you know where they start and where they begin? And it can almost seem like, well, there's only seven main dimensions and each one is like a box. And how do I get from box three jumping over box four and get into box five, I mean, it, it can just get really confusing. So I wanna share with you guys a completely different way to look at this, to eliminate all that confusion and make it possible for you to really focus on where it is you're actually trying to go in your ascension journey and how actually um, using the term 5D can actually be of service when you look at all of this in a very different way. So let's look at a very simple metaphor for the idea of spiritual awakening and ascension. The simplest metaphor that I like to think about is sunrise. So you start in a very, it's very dark, and the sun begins to rise, and the light, um, the increasing light is very gradual. It's very graceful. It's actually very beautiful. So you could actually look at ascension in the same way. So as the sun rises, the intensity of light increases more and more. Now, when you think of ascension, you can use that metaphor and think of ascension as an increasing intensity in that wider spectrum of light going from what we might call third dimensional reality all the way up to seventh dimensional and everything in between. But let's say we take the numbers out of it and we just look at that full spectrum of light, of expanding light and ascending energy into a higher level of consciousness and reality. If we just look at the full spectrum of light, it can be a little bit difficult to know where to focus. Like, well, where am I trying to go, right? And the reason it's so difficult to focus is because we currently live in a situation of duality and there are so many distractions, not to mention the fact that there are forces that are trying to prevent our ascension and suppress and repress us so that hopefully, according to them, we will not be able to ascend at all. So you can think of ascension as evolving uh, planets, star systems, dimensions, and ultimately the entire universe along a full spectrum of infinite energy and light 
ultimately with the intention of bringing everything back into a state of pure light, pure love, and pure oneness of being. So I think the reason that we kind of feel inclined to number dimensions in the way that we do, it could have something to do with the same way that we like to number um, the way when the earth rotates, we have clocks, right? We put numbers on that full um, rotational sequence, one to 24 hours. We put numbers called months on the orbit of the earth around the sun because it gives us a way to focus. It's easier to focus on your day when you have those numbers on that clock or you have those numbers on that calendar. It's easier to focus on where you are in the year. Okay, so if we look at it that way, we can actually think of numbering these dimensions as um, offering us a similar way to focus on where we are in our ascension journey and where we're trying to go. So then you could say, well, what is a 5D level of consciousness? What is a 5D level of reality? What does that mean? So the idea of 5D can be best understood as a way to focus your consciousness and your energy at a much higher level of reality. Focusing on 5D is in essence, focusing on bringing your energy up to a higher vibration of consciousness and light. It is by nature more positive, more loving, more optimistic. And because it's a high vibration, it's much easier to manifest things that bring you joy. Now, I know people often say that it's much easier to manifest in 5D, but let me give you another perspective on that because we're actually manifesting just fine right here. The problem is that from a 3D level of extreme duality, it's very difficult to manifest things that make you happy. It's just a darker place of greater density on that spectrum of light that I was talking about. So for example, if we were, if we were to look at this in a simple way, you could say the, the, the closer you are to the darker side of that spectrum, the more inclined you're going to be to be manifesting things at that vibrational level. The higher you are on that spectrum of light, the higher vibration, the more inclined you're going to be to manifest at a higher vibration, which is one of joy and happiness. So because 5D is a much higher level of vibration, it is correspondingly easier to manifest what your heart desires. You see, when you're at the lower level of that spectrum of energy, um, you're not so much in touch with your heart. That's why, that's how it corresponds with the feeling of more darkness. But as you move up that spectrum of light and positivity and high vibration, the light opens your heart, you're more connected to your heart and your manifestations are going to change to something much more powerful and much more positive. And the other interesting thing about a 5D level of consciousness is that it's much more forgiving you are much less likely to hold grudges or hang on to the past. See, because when you are so much happier, you are very much less likely to be interested in holding on to negativity. At 5D, you are much more awake and aware. There's much more light. There's more energy. There's more vitality. There's more optimism. So here's my suggestion for you guys when it comes to ascension. Start by thinking about bringing your consciousness, meaning the level at which you're awake, to a 5D level. And don't get overly um, obsessed with what exactly does that mean? Is it really 5D? Don't worry about that. This, I want you to think about it. If you want to make it much more simple for yourself, I want you to think about it as just a way to focus at a higher level. Because you see, ascension is just going to keep going up. It's not like some elevator that has floors that you get off at. Now, it might look that way because once this ascension process is over, you're going to find yourself wherever you find yourself according to your vibration. So in that sense, it could look like you're going to land at a certain level of reality. But you don't want to approach ascension that way when you're in the middle of the process itself. What you want to do when you're in the middle of the process itself is keep your focus at a high vibrational level. And if you want to call that 5D, call it 5D because if that's 
going to help you feel oriented and feel focused, then by all means, it's an asset to look at it in that way. So as you start with a focus of bringing your consciousness higher and higher to a 5D level, this is going to begin to have a transformational effect on your physical body. And when you understand it this way, you guys, you're not going to have that feeling of a split like, oh, my 3D self and my 5D self. It will be, um, you'll feel like a unified whole <clears throat> and you'll understand that what you're trying to do is have that impact on your physical body because guys, that's the whole point. See, sometimes people get confused and they think that ascending to 5D means that your physical body is just going to rise up into the air one day and land in another dimension. It doesn't really work like that, you guys. Eventually, yes, your physical body needs to evolve starting with your consciousness to where you literally are in a higher dimension of reality at all levels, including physical. But if you just, if you get that separation going of 5D's there and my physical body is 3D, you're just gonna feel like you're split and you're not gonna be able to have the impact on your physical presence that you really wanna have. So you always wanna be sure that you're viewing yourself as whole. You need to be whole in how you approach your ascension process. So work with your consciousness and your energy, bringing that up to a five dimensional level of experience with the idea in mind that the vibration of that energy is going to influence your physical body and prepare you more and more for ascending evolution of who you are in this universe. And then at some point down the road, if, if there's a solar flash, if there really is a physical split and everybody goes wherever they go, you, you are much better prepared to go to a higher level of experience in this universe, wherever it is that you happen to be a match to in that process. So to put it all in a nutshell, you don't wanna to get too caught up in separating yourself into 3D and 5D because that's just gonna make you feel really weird. Instead, you wanna think of these numbers as just a way to get oriented and get focused. But don't get too caught up in the meaning and the definition of the numbers. You are orienting your consciousness into 5D in order to influence the energy structures of your physical body in preparation for ascension. So I hope that's helpful for you guys and eliminate some of the confusion about what do you do when you're 3D human and you're 5D um, other kind of consciousness. Guys, you're always human. You have to understand hum, human being, to be a human being doesn't mean you're just in 3D. There are advanced, advanced, advanced human beings that, that go even beyond what we refer to sometimes as 70. So don't divide yourself that way. Okay, you'll just make yourself kind of crazy. You are here in a physical world of duality if you want to call that 3d that's great it's fine and then your consciousness which is your infinite self aims to raise your vibration your light your presence up to that higher dimension so that you are consciously ascending your physical body's energy structures and that's how you act on this planet as the cosmic being that you really are now let's talk for a moment about why this is so important to get yourself really focused on this right now. As you probably are aware, um, the whole lockdown situation on this planet, all the turmoil is getting worse and worse every day. As people go into deeper and deeper turmoil, lockdown and depression, this creates a downward spiral of collective human energy. Now you risk getting caught in this downward spiral of energy if you don't have a way to anchor yourself at a higher level of consciousness. So if you implement what I've been talking about in this video, you will be able to stay oriented, anchored and clear and focused about exactly what it is you're trying to do. You'll keep your consciousness anchored at that higher level of consciousness, which you can call 5D, and that's gonna really protect you from being drawn into that downward spiral that a lot of people might find themselves caught in. 
And we need to do this as lightworkers and starseeds, you guys, because this really is a big part of our role here, is to hold the space for that higher frequency, that higher vibration of light and love and the power of what that really means on our planet. And this is how we find the strength to maintain our presence in the middle of all of the chaos without being overly influenced by all of it. So the simplest way to do this is to make sure that you are consistent and every day, preferably in the morning when your mind is clear, set your intention and set your focus of how you're going to proceed through your day and maintain that higher level of consciousness. And I highly recommend that you start every day with meditation because that is the best way to set yourself up to stay in that higher level of orientation and focus for the rest of your day. And also, if you want some help with that, go check out my Meditation for Spiritual Awakening online digital course. I'll put the link in the description below and that will give you the support and the help that you need to be able to stay on track and on course in your ascension journey. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it out with anyone else who you think would benefit from this information. And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I am here every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday with all new videos. And with that, I'm sending you loads of love, light, and positive energy. I will see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day, everyone. Namaste.